Hello everyone and welcome back to the letters B. My name is Bobby and today I'm going to show you how to create this amazing looking wipe text animation. To start off the tutorial we are going to create a new text element. To do that go to media generators, all and select legacy text. Choose the standard preset and start editing your text. You can change the font, the size and the text itself. Also, be sure to add a drop shadow for an even better look. After that, we're gonna animate the text, so open up the pan and crop tool and make sure you're at the beginning of the timeline. Then, change the width value to 50 to create a strong zoom into the text. Go 5 frames forward and reset your text by right clicking into the scene and selecting the first option. Then, we're gonna add a little bounce so after the fifth frame, you will go 2 frames forward and reduce your width value by 20. Then, go another 2 frames forward and reset your text once again. After that, simply go to the very end of the timeline and add 200 to your width value. This way you have a nice little bounce at the beginning and a constant movement throughout the whole scene. Now we want to add our background, so go to Media Generators, Solid Color and pick one of the layers. I'm going to change the color of the layer to a nice looking red. Also, I'm going to place a paper texture between my text and background and change the compositing mode of the video track including the texture to Multiply. This way my background won't look that empty. After that, render the whole clip and import it back to Sony Vegas. As we are done with the first text and background, we're gonna switch the text color with the background color. So that that means we're gonna have a red text and a white background. Render this clip as well and import it back to Sony Vegas. Now we're gonna change the compositing mode of the texture video track back to source alpha so nothing weird will happen in the further editing. The last step that is missing is the wipe transition. To create a transition we are going to place one of the clips above the other and open the pan and crop tool of the upper text. Go to masking and create some kind of a rectangle like this one. It's important that the rectangle will be bigger than the whole text window so everything will fit into the mask. Then you're gonna go a couple frames forward and move the mouse onto the line closer to the text until it becomes yellow. Now click on it and use the right arrow key to move it all above the text window. Then you can add some feather to it so the transition will look even smoother. To do that simply change the feather type to in and change the feather percentage to 4%. At the end you can play around the keyframes and place the first one somewhere where you want the transition to start and the second keyframe either closer to the first one so the wipe will be faster or put it farther away so it will be slower. And here you go we created another amazing looking intro animation. If you want to support the channel be sure to subscribe, like and comment so I can actually see that I could help you. Any form of support keeps me going and gives me new motivation to create even more cool videos like this one. Also I try my best to make the videos as understandable and easy to do as possible so I hope the explanation on this one was okay.